Hello everybody and welcome to a new series for Ever Stranded Lost Souls Beta 2, a mod pack by GW Sheridan. And I reckon this is going to be an awesome mod pack. Let's start with a single world, play a world and just create a new world. I'm just going to call this world very imaginatively called World. And wait a few seconds because it takes a few seconds to download and create the world. So this mod pack's got lots of stuff in it and I think this is Beta 2 so that's the first time been allowed to make videos about it even though I've done a little bit of beta testing beforehand in fact I didn't do as much beta World testing as, backup, World backup done. as I wanted to and I don't like that either I have to turn that off as well anyway so let's start by this I'll look around this we're in a starting a spaceship in the nether as you can see from the windows and we get a chest here and inside the chest we get a quest book let's get the quest book out of here Oops, try that again. You basically got to get to the thing and right click it, and it'll take some apples with us as well. Oh, and taking the apples enables hard quest. We'll take a sword. So let's start with the quest book. I'm not going to really spend all my time reading out the quests, but uh, let's have a look. There's a, there's a large number of quests available to us. We'll start with the easiest one survival. I'll say easiest one. Basically, these ones here are updates. That's to update the quests when a new version comes, and this is to update the database, I think. Um, let me just click on it. Yeah, that reloads the that reloads the, the quests if I wanted to change it, and this one will reload the loot if that changes as well. So you just have to click the box and do that one. So the first quest we've got two quests available: extra lives. Which I don't want to do because that's hardcore. This is the hardcore one here, and you consume it and you get a an apple. So I'm not going to do that one because I don't. Hardcore basically. So if if you don't click and claim the pack, you'll stay in normal mode, and you'll have infinite lives. If I do choose it, then I get five lives. Well, I won't last very long with five lives. I can tell you that for nothing. So the first real quest is to do this one here, which is to get some gravel. And you may or may not have seen the episodes by um, the Cobble Noughts and Nemson. But basically, we've got to basically grab these things. So let's go out and do that. And it's very, very dangerous. Let's press escape in here. I'm going to start with my sword and I'll just walk outside. And there's plenty of mobs around. In fact, what I should do, first of all, is to change my put a marker down here at the beginning of this I'll say base I'll make it nice and green so we can see where it is bright green I think so we can see where it is from a distance and we've got to go and find some gravel and most of the things you can't do so we'll, we'll put out some of these fires like this because they will be a pain and then we're going to avoid the flames as well these burning blossoms are quite painful and we've got to get a lot of this Equesterium series, whatever it's called. And we get seeds and we get string from these, or a type of string. And when you harvest it like this, you'll see it leaves in it the um, the spore to respawn. And then you can take the spores you've got. I've got another one here. And it's actually sensible to plant these. Let's just plant that there. And that can grow. So I can see some gravel over here on the top left. Let's go and get that. Probably shouldn't put out too many flames because things will actually spawn more often than they're going to anyway so I've got three of those now let's keep harvesting these now here we've got another court call and you can't harvest it if you click it here it tells you you don't meet the requirements to break this block and it's a pick with three on it I'll come to that in a second and this one here is cobalt ore, and you've got a pick with 20 on it. So basically that means mining level 20. So we have to build up our levels. Anyway, let's go and get this gravel out of here. So there is an um, ore excavator in this pack. So you press the graph key and you harvest it, and you should pick up some bits and pieces. Wow, I've got 64 already. That's enough, and that should be able to complete this quest. So let's go back inside, have a quick look around. inside and do some crafting with this stuff now you can craft this on yourself 
So basically what you have to do is you make this in the patterns of four. Before I do that, let's just double check what we've got to actually make in this quest. So I think it was six piles of gravel and two gravel. So we'll just make two gravel to start with. Oops, let's try that again. One, two. Okay, that should actually complete the quest. Starting off. Okay, good. So we can then look at this. And there's some things to claim. So gravel, piles of gravel. Well, we can get those reasonably easily. Chance cube, very dangerous. Loot chest. Well, actually, they can be very good. And they can be also not very good. Let's claim that. Oh, I'm well, to that zombie pigman. I think he's did something strange done that one so that one opens up this one fiber and actually I've already completed these two by getting by harvesting those scenarios fibers and that's so again so we can basically get another spore 16 piles of gravel or some loot chest let's take the loot chest again I'm gonna keep away from chance clues at the moment we also get an oak sapling with this one as well done and we're gonna go and plant that oak sapling starting off now that I think oh, so before I do that, let's, let's open some of these quests. What do we get here? Compact Machine Wall. Oh, that's interesting. Compact Machines is a great mod for later on. Magenta Ruinic Dust from Random Things. And some Diamond Ore, which I can't process yet because you can't do anything with them. So we'll put those in the chest here. It's, it will be good later on, I'm sure. And these chests are a bit unusual. They're immersive engineering chests, and it's a pattern of three, four by three. So you can put four rows of things. So you can put stuff in too, like this. And what else have we got on here? Ten spores. All oh, right, okay. I'll plant those spores before we go out. We'll put the, the gravel in here, like this, and you can right-click it, and it takes it out. And you see here it says pile of gravel nine on the top. What else have we got? And let's put the spores down in here. And we've got two gravel. Now with the gravel you can actually make flint. Like that. And we're going to use this flint next. So let's take some more gravel out of here. I, the trouble is you've got to break, get some cracked flint I think. Let's have a look at this quest. Uh, what's it opened up for us? Done that one. I have claimed this one. Twine. So we've got to make some scenarios twine and we'll get some more and some loot chests. But we're only going to take the loot chests because generally speaking they're going to be better. So what have we got in here? Twine. Take that out of here and let's craft that. So crafting this is just a three like that. And this gives us twine. In fact, it's well worth doing all of it to start with anyway. Because then we get the completed quest and let's get on and take this loot chest. Oh, actually I get both. Good. Claim. Done which is very nice. So then we go and get sticks as the next quest here, or flint. Now flint, we need eight pieces of flint and four cracked. So let's do that first of all, flint. So we need basically, I'll take that out to the right click it. And if you shift right click it, you put it in one at a time, I think. So if I shift right click this one, I can't do that. I've got to have an empty hand. It takes one out. And it doesn't let you to take it out unless you've got a free space. So you can take out two like that and then press R to sort your inventory. Oops, try that again. And it sorts your inventory. You can take it out again. Anyway, let's take open this chest to see what we get. Oh, four ender pearls. Uncommon. Nice start. Let's put those safely in there. And let's craft up this. Um, we need 16 pieces, don't we? So let's do it like... Actually, we don't need 16. Oh, Eight. So give me four flint. I need six flint. Don't, don't I? That'll give me four, five. So we need another one. Actually, we need two, don't we, to make one of these? And then we can make this into our sixth piece of flint like that. Let's go to the quest book and detect that part of it. I think it detects automatically. Oh, eight flint. Oops, miscalculation. And try that again. Mm. 
So that should have uh, then done that. If I detect it, it should detect this. It doesn't update automatically, so we've got to make these cracked flints. So let's have a look at that now. Again, if you do it again, it still hasn't detected it. But I think we can do it with the, the flint we've already got. So what we do with this flint to make cracked flint is to bash it against something hard. And at the back here we've got some concrete. So we just left click it on here with a bit of luck and we'll get four. I don't always get four actually. Crack flint and I haven't got any. Fantastic. One. One from all of those pieces. That's not very good. There might be other materials that actually is better for. I used to use Bernerium that was seems to be giving you better results. Anyway, let's just try that. So I've got to get some more piles of... Uh, oops, pick those up again. Of gravel to make some more flint. So we've got the cells in there. Let's have a look. What have we got out here? A lot of noise, obviously. I'm going to plant these in here, by the way. Let's get these planted. Three more to go. Let's plant those over here. So where we can actually harvest string. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find some glowstone. And I know there's glowstone around here because I've seen it in the past. I'm trying to avoid the mobs. Ah, here we go. Here we can get some sticks. I'll take this one here like this. And if I shift left click this on the leaves, oh sorry, grab left click it on the leaves, I'll pick up the everything. Let's get rid of that. It might burn me. There we are. Sticks is completed. Put the flames out. So I've got a quest for getting sticks, and that's how you get sticks. Oh look, what are they doing over there? There's a load of cracked flint on that one. Is that because? No way. Ah. So that's what's happened to my crack flint. It's actually ended up there. I wonder if I can jump anywhere near that. Okay. That's going to be a bit of a problem. I don't want to lose that. That's... Try again. I need to go and get that piece if it's possible. Let's see if there's... A, oops, got burnt by that thing. Is there a way to get on the outside of this hole? Well, it doesn't look like there is from here. What up here? I don't think I can jump up this high. No. Uh, is that an ember? No, it's just a flame. There's one of the mobs that's an ember, and then they're pretty nasty, actually. Why well, I want some glowstone, don't I? Let's go and find the glowstone. There's plenty of zombie pigmen around. We shall keep clear of them. Or at least not try to hit them. Glowstone, glowstone, glowstone. Oh, some more gravel up there. Now, where is the glowstone? There's some glowstone over there. Let's go and see if we can find that. I'm not picking any of those. I didn't hear the click. Now the reason I want glowstone, if I can find it, is because of trees. To grow plants or whatever else you need glowstone. You don't grow by themselves, or if they do they go so, so very slowly it's just not dry. I'm going to get up to that stuff. I'm sure there's some around here because I found it when I was playing around. Let's have a look if I can see any at all. And I know it's accessible, unless of course it changes when you reload the map. I don't think it does. Let's go and have a look up here. No, I don't see any up here. That's strange. I 
There's lots of different ores around as you can see. And you can't punch wood until you've actually got a tool. And the first thing you, to you need to do that is a, a hatchet. This is most strange. I'm sure I've seen these before. Let's pick that one up. Get that out a bit as well. It's actually there's a hitbox on these which is a bit smaller than normal. Where is that glowstone? Well, there's some more gravel over there. Let's go and get that as well. In fact, I've been up here before, haven't I? So I haven't seen it, and I know. There is stuff around. Let's just see if I can find it. Focusing up. Oops. That one set me on fire. Ah, there we go. I knew there was some around that wasn't too far away. So what I'm going to do is take enough glowstone for nine. Four. Eight. That's fine. I mean, eight's fine. Because from that we can make two glowstone blocks. So let's go and get back into the ship and after getting this gravel over here what did I pick up for gravel there 64 and 14 fantastic I probably should save it really and use it with a shovel because if I use it with a shovel it's much less dangerous uh, you get a lot better return I mean Right, so go to the back of the ship. Oops, I'm being attacked. Ah, oh. a blazing juggernaut sneaked up and killed me. Nice, thank you very much, blazing juggernaut. I'll have a slurp of tea while I'm waiting for this to reload. Oh, right, fantastic. <laughs> so now I've got a key, and I've got to basically get back and get my... My thing. Another moment, if you look at me, if I press E and I look at my inventory, I've got ghostly shape for two minutes and no appetite, so I'm, I don't need to eat. And I've got a ghostly shape, so I can easily go and get my box. There it is, you see. We can open that. I'll have to find a way to turn that off, it's going to drive me crazy. Narration. Three flint fracks. That's there. Uh, actually, it's a bit of a nuisance. I can't get to that. Well, we can actually make some tools now. What have we got to get in this thing here? What was the quest for? Let's have a look at the quest. Four detect. Have I got a little used all my flint up and it's not detecting it? Okay, let's take this and then let's make some more flint. Eight flints is basically, I think, is a stack, isn't it? And that should have done it. That seems to be the flake flint. Yep, quest complete. Let's go and check that. Detect it, and we shall take the hmm, flaked flint six. I might take. The, I'm going to take the loot chest anyway. Done. And we've got this reward here for sticks. We'll do the same thing. I'm going to take the, the loot chest. Could take a diamond apple. It might save my life once or twice, but I don't know. So let's have a look at what we've got now in these two loot chests. Oh, wireless transmitter. That's pretty nice. It will be. Void stone from chisel, which is probably not much use. Right, next thing we're going to do is plant this tree. Got five more spores, plenty of that. Compact walls, I don't need that. And we're going to have to make some tools, aren't we? This wireless transmitter was the other thing I want to put away, because I don't know use for that at the time being. So let's have a look at the next quest then. There's a lot of quests in the beginning of this pack, so we should get through fairly quickly. So we need to make a flint hatchet. Just one. We get all sorts of rewards for that. And I'm probably going to take the loot chest again. Maybe I should take the gravel. Um, so let's do that. 
Now, the hat, if I press E, and I want to find the recipe for this, we need flint. If we look at flint, we get all oops, we get all the, the tools to start with. So the one we need to make is the hatchet here, which we can actually craft like this, with one stick, one cracked flint, and some twine, like that. I've actually got enough for four. We will we'll need several of these, but I'm going to make sure I've got that to start with. Because what we can do with this now is we can then harvest this. So let's go and use this on some trees. Oh, and I want to plant my sapling, don't I? I think I'm going to plant my sapling around about here. So it needs to be reasonably near to where I'm sort of residing and got enough space above it. So let's go over this side. Keep away from the flames. Here's a tree. Here's a good spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock a hole in here. I don't think I can use the hatchet for doing that. So I'll just punch the netherite like this and this one. And I'm going to take the glowstone that we've got, craft two blocks, put one down here. Oh, no, I can't do it here. I'm being daft. I need to be somewhere where there's actually overgrown netherrack. So, but here I can take the trees. So let's take this one. Let's do the leaves first of all, and then take the tree. I wish I could have done that with the or excavator as well, couldn't I? So overgrown netherrack is here. And it wants to be in a sensible, safe-ish place. Actually, here might be not too bad. Let's do it here. So let's put it... I want the tree to grow there, and... Yeah, this'll do. Put one down like that, and then put one in this corner here. I'm going to remove this block, actually, and put it in like that. Then I can plant the, tr the sapling here. And that sapling should grow. Oh, it might not do if I'm too, if I'm too close to this. Oh, I'm too close to this, aren't I? Let's put it up. No, I can't bash that down either. I've got to put it down. Oh, don't lose that sapling. I know it's that look. Yeah, that'll be fine. And they might have enough light from those, I think. Let's put it on there like that. It might have enough light from that. If it doesn't, I'll have to plant some more um, glowstone. We shall see. Let's go back inside. Now, obviously, now I've got this wood, I can actually go and get that flint if it still exists. So let's craft some of those out of there. And we can now make a crafting table. So let's uh, deal with this one next. Oh, I've got a wooden bug. Great. <laughs> now you can eat these wooden bugs, but you can cook them as well. Uh, let's uh, let's carry on with this first of all. I find it a bit difficult with all excavator. I've not used that before. So just checking around. There aren't any mobs around at the moment, are they? Good. So let's just keep doing these trees because we're going to need plenty of wood oh I thought there was only one piece I didn't bother using an oil excavator on that I've got that for a thing yep oh, I've completed another quest called wood so let's go inside again and do some more crafting now we have a crafting table we can actually start to make things let's put the crafting table down here Let's make a crafting table first of all, and put it down here, like that, good. Now, next thing I want to do is have a look at the quests again. So that one was done, and I think I've claimed that one, haven't I? So that's now done. So it was opened up a whole load more. So, oh no, I haven't claimed the reward for that. Hmm. So have a look what else we've got in here that might be useful. I think I'm going to take the loot chest here. And I'm also got that, that opens up wood. Let's have a look at this one. We've got two oak chests, diamond ore, which we don't need to get because we've got plenty of that. An imp skin jerkin, which might be actually useful. 28 torches. 
I don't know what to take. I'm going to take a risk, claim that one. We also got 28 XP. Oh, that's excellent. Now, XP is what this game's all about. So have a look how much XP I've got, eight. So let's press um, E and now have a look over here. So we can now actually increase our skills. So here are the skills. So we've got mining, gathering, building. Let's have a look at that one. And we click, we add four. And that will give us a level two builder. And I can add another four and that will give me a level three builder which is great because that means I can actually make a chest wow I think we can make a chest let's just see if that actually works now to make chests we basically do like this we need these strings put one of those in the middle and put around it some planks and that'll make a chest actually that might even be another reward let's open up these loot bags before I forget oh lots of ores and some diamond nuggets that's uh, going to be nice, I think, later on. Ancient Motive Core from Embers. There's a lot of mods in here I actually don't know. Quest updated. Which one has been updated? I missed it. Never mind. Let's have a look at this other loot chest in here. Oh, we got a compressed diamond hammer. Rare. Now, four of those. That's going to be pretty good, I reckon. Except for it takes up all my inventory space. <laughs> Right, next one. Let's have a look at the uses of this one. Oh, gosh, I need a piece of iron to make a chest. That's going to be a bit of a awkward one. But anyway, I can basically make these immersive engineering chests to start with. Open it up and let's put some of this stuff back in here. Now, one of the things that's going to be hard with these chests is organisation. I'm not very good at it anyway. And this is going to make it life even more difficult. Let's have a look. We've got these diamond hammers in here. Let's put these into here. I'm sure this is going to be extremely useful. What else have we got? A diamond nugget. Put that in there. And then we've got these ancient motif things for embers. What else have we got in here? Bug, which we're going to cook neat, and wood and gravel. I think I've got some more gravel bits in here, haven't I? Yes, I have. Good. Let's take those out of there and also take the diamonds out of here as well because I think that diamond ore is probably better over here. And then we can sort out inventory again and make some more gravel because I'm going to need some more flint, aren't I? There's not much use for the piles of gravel except to make <laughs> gravel. So that's probably a good start. The next thing we can do so look at another quest here. Done. We've got the we've done the crafting table. That was a didn't even think about that. A loot chest. Flint block. Now what I think I'm gonna stick I probably should stick to melons in this case, shouldn't I? Let's claim that. What else do we get? Oh six experience. Okay, fantastic done and what are we going to use the experience on I reckon we're going to use the experience now on mining this is the hardest bit in this game I don't know what to actually use let's mining let's add four to that and we need we haven't got another four yet so now we're still a beginner but we can actually mine other things now we need some dirt don't we for that stuff what I'm going to do is put this flint, this gravel in there, and we're going to make the next tool. Now, the next tool we're going to make is this one. And I think we can. No, we can't do it. Missing one piece of cracked flint. Now, since the others were actually outside, let's see if I've got some wood with me. I have, and I can use that wood for climbing up. And I've got the axe, so I can break it down again. So let's go and do that. I'm just having a look around, see what mobs we've got around at the moment. In fact, I doubt that's still there. It's probably despawned by now. But let's go and have a look, see if we can actually see it. Oop! I've been attacked again by the um, Juggernaut, I guess. Let's get out of the way. Oh, it's an ember. 
Now, the ember we can actually deal with. Right, we get his XP too. Good. Fortunately, it does do a lot of damage. So anyway, so let's take, carry on with this. If I can actually build some steps up to this thing here. Nope, can't do it yet. I need some more wood. Maybe, let's have a look. Maybe another piece of wood in here will do. I want to craft up in here, won't it? Be better to craft it up there. What we can actually do now is we can actually do some more interesting One things. Right, good. So now I'm on the top of the ship and I can see inside, which is good. I'll leave that. I'll leave those there. I don't know where I can make ladders at the moment. It'd be nice if I could, then we could get out of that. Where did I put my little climbing frame? Just here, didn't I? Good. I should be able to jump that without too much damage. That's good. Right, okay, so let's go and crack some more flint. Let's take this wood while we're at it. Let's put the graph key. Let's go and take some more. This should be also good. Now that, what's the 17? So that should be nice to make some crack flint. Where's it going to? Three. I need another piece. Ah, oh, there we go. It jumps all over the place, as you can see. So now I've got enough to make a hat, uh, to make a, the next one up, which is, um, let's go with the, the base there we are. A pickaxe, we can make a pickaxe. We need a crafting table for that, so let's do that in here. So the next one up is this one. Now with this one we can actually start to mine things. So let's have a look now at um, the quests again, because this is actually a quest as well, I think. Let's have a look. This one. I also need a flint shovel. Okay, let's make the shovel. We should be able to do that as well. Oh no, we need some more cracked flint. Three of those. I should actually have... I thought I had more cracked flint. Okay, we don't. Let's go and crack some more flint in that case. What have we got around here that I don't like the sound of? That's a gas, doesn't it? Because what we can now start to do is with this, this, we can actually mine netherrack. And actually, that's good because we, oh, we're getting piles, so that's not so good. I think last time I did this, I didn't get piles, I got actual netherrack. 39, I think we need 64. Because what I've got to do is make another rack furnace. When you have harvest that one, you'll get the spore as well. So. Right, I've got 64, now that'll do. Um, and I need some to crack some, to crack some flint, don't I? I was doing that over here, that's, oops, what's that one? Another one of those, brush it if I can. Oops, I haven't got it yet. They're hard, these embers. Because there's no real obvious hitbox. <laughs> Look at my health now. I can actually eat these things as well. But let's go and get some more flint. God. If I can do it on here, it's great. I need three pieces, don't I? One more. Is it broken it around somewhere or is it fly? It usually flies around and I can't see it. Put that out. Come on. What's the other piece? Is it flying around somewhere? That's the question. Oh yes, there we are. So I've now got enough to make the shovel, which is great, because then we can actually pick up soul sand. Ah. So what I'm going to do, just to finish this episode, because I'm going a bit longer than I like to do, as you know, I only like to do 30 minutes. Let's see if we can make this one now. We can make this one. And that should now complete that quest. Fantastic. Extra tools. What we can also do now is to take this, these here and then make some netherrack, I think. We can. 16. Okay. Then we can craft the nether rack into another rack furnace. Like that. 
and I think that's actually another quest. Indeed it is. So let's put the furnace down here. And what we can do with this, of course, we can smelt some wood. So I have got... I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll make some sticks. I'm not sure... Oh, doesn't make sticks. What's the use of this then? Can I not make sticks? I'll tell you what, I'll do the other way around with the recipe for sticks. I moved everything around, of course. Okay, we can do that. And that's the only crafting recipe we've got for sticks. And the other one's to get leaves. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sticks into this furnace. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that should burn one piece of wood up. No, it doesn't work. What do I have to do for this one? What works in this? Is it pieces of wood? Nope. I have to make something else. How do I make charcoal? Well, I'm going to do that next time. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now. See you next time.